，臭猴子，你说，这山岭外的世界究竟是什么样的？《Black Myth: Wukong》is a game full of beautiful cutscenes, memorable characters, and incredible boss fights. When the game ends, it only makes you want more. But with around 40 hours of average playtime, it's not likely we can relive those moments again anytime soon. If only there was a way to re-challenge our favorite fights without having to go through the entire game. Now, if you're a PC player, you're in luck. There is indeed a mod that can do just that. I am, of course. Referring to the boss rush mod, this mod will allow you to choose any boss fight from the game and teleport you right in front of the boss arena with your current gear. Additionally, you can also rewatch the cutscenes and complete the side quest you have missed. This guide will show you how to install the mod and use it in game. Please look down in the description below to find the link to this mod, Boss Rush V3. This mod is written in C sharp. I think this is largely due to Wukong's base engine, so you will also need to install another support mod, C# -sharp Loader. Link also in description. Now, before we do anything, we need to, of course, back up our save file first in case anything goes south. To do that, open up Steam, find Black Myth Wukong in your library. Right-click on it, select Manage, and browse local files. This should open a file system, which is the install location for this game. Go into the folder named B1. You will see the saved folder here. Right-click on it and create a zip file. Rename it. This will be our save backup. Now let's go back to the mod page. Bring it to the right. Go back to Steam again. Do the same as before. Right-click on Black Myth Wukong. Select Manage and browse local files. Now let's keep this window smaller and at the bottom left of your screen. Now let's create a new folder named mod. It can be anywhere on your PC, but for demonstration, I will just put it on my desktop. This will be the staging location where we will be downloading and unzipping our mods. Open it up and drag it to the top left. Now we are all set to install the mod. On the Nexus page of C# -sharp Loader, click on the Files tab. Click on Manual Download. And a slow download. Once the file is downloaded, we can drag it to the mod folder on the left for easy access. Do the same for Boss Rush V3. Again, Files tab, Manual Download, and the slow download. Now both mods are downloaded. Let's install them. Go into C# -sharp Loader first. Drag the folder named as B1 into the game installation folder we opened earlier. If you see a pop-up, click on Replace the files in the destination. But if it's the first time you install it, you shouldn't see the pop-up. Now go back to the mod folder, and we are doing the same for Boss Rush V3. Same as before. Copy over the B1 folder and replace files in destination. Now that's all done. From here, let's launch the game and see what happens. Make sure your character is fully loaded into the game. Press the shortcut to open the mod menu. Control plus L. There will be many options in this mod for different purposes, but we are mostly interested in the second option under the rest button. Boss Gauntlet. From here, you can select boss encounters by chapters, with the first option being a random boss encounter. You also have Chapter One, Chapter Two, Chapter Three, Chapter Four, Chapter Five, and Chapter Six in order. The menu is still half translated in English. The author of the mod is said to be working on the full English patch. Please keep an eye on the pinned commentary of this video. I will update you as soon as the full English version is ready. But now, let's select a random boss and see where we will be sent to. Looks like we will be fighting our piggy uncle again. Now, there you have it. This is how to install the Boss Rush mod so that we can re-challenge our favorite boss fight endlessly. For me. 
to be able to rewatch the fourth Spider Sisters cutscene is a godsend. Again, please check out the pinned comment to have the latest update on the translation progress. Now, I hope you find this guide helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.